Hey everyone, welcome back to Teaching with Tania. I am so glad you clicked on this video because I was once in your shoes. I was once so frazzled and trying to figure out what college should I go to, what university should I attend, what my major is gonna be. I was in your shoes, but I just want everyone, if you watch this video, to take a deep breath and just realize that God will have you wherever you need to be. So don't stress about it. Your future is in his hands. So with that being said, you can also make some decisions for yourself. God gives us choices and through prayers, we can make the right ones and just talking to him to just make sure that we know where we're supposed to be, but ultimately we will end up where God wants us to be. So let's go ahead and hop into this video. <laughs> will be answering the question how do you know what college to go to how do you pick a college some parents don't teach you these things so going through the process myself I just want to be able to give back to you guys the knowledge that I have and I have also worked with my school's admissions team um, and seen good things and bad things but at the end of the day um, I'm here to give you guys to relay that knowledge for you guys to make the best decision for you possible when should you start thinking about college all that stuff in general let me tell you the sooner the better let me say it louder for the people in the back the sooner you start visiting colleges the better okay whether that's going on tours your freshman year of high school or maybe even looking online depending on what you can do or visit the schools around you you're starting your freshman year just to start getting the ball rolling in your head about what you would want your college experience career to look like so you definitely need to start early um that definitely most people have success in finding the best fit for them when they start early the earlier the better the earlier the better i cannot stress that enough once you find a school you may have a list you have to check if your gpa is high enough to get into that school or if your sat scores are high enough or the act your ATC, ATC scores are high enough as well. Some schools don't even require that. They just want your GPA to be high as well as your transcript to be good. There are so many factors that play into if you get accepted into the college of your dreams or not. So make sure um, you definitely have a high GPA or whatever that school requires. You don't have to have the best GPA. And even if you have a low GPA, some schools will still accept you so the application fee also yes schools do require application fee and not many people know that but to apply to schools to even get into their program they will probably ask for for application fee because it takes them a long time to just go through your paperwork all that stuff so i would say have a top five list of schools and apply to those and see how those work out for you some schools require you to be a junior some schools require you to be a senior uh, or the summer of your senior year. So look up the schools that you want to go to to look at their requirements so that you're meeting the school's deadlines and so that you won't get denied just because you missed a deadline. I've seen that happen before as well. You also need to make sure that school has your major. College is fun, can be fun if you are doing what you're supposed to do because nobody wants to be in school forever. So make sure that you know what your, if your school has your degree and whether you want to continue to go to that school for your master's or possibly doctorates. Check that school's accreditation as well. Not all schools are accredited and unfortunately some people are going to schools that are not accredited and they get to their senior year and can't find a job because their school was never accredited. It's beyond me, but trust me, it happens. So make sure your school is accredited and that they have your major that will work out in your favor as well. Some of these things are common sense that you should know, but um, surprisingly, some students don't know that, especially if your parents didn't go to college or you don't have older siblings that have experienced this process as well. Say you have multiple schools accepting you, you don't know which one you wanna to go to. Realize how you learn best 
and where you will be successful at. A lot of people go to these huge schools and they get lost in the sauce. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. They get lost in the crowd because the teachers are not on their back. Professors, they can't reach out to them. It's just so many students. It's so overwhelming. Make sure that if you learn in a smaller environment or more personal connections with your professors, then maybe you need to go to a smaller school. If you thrive in big crowds and you're an extremely extrovert, then maybe a big school will be great for you and you don't need professor that professor connection and maybe you're just a number at that school or whether you want to be personally known by your academic adv advisors and professors that they genuinely know you and know when you skip class some people need that accountability so make sure you ask about class size ratio um get to know the professors in that program that's why it is easier to start earlier so you can make the best decision for yourself. Another thing that many students don't look at when applying to colleges is what can that school do for you? It should be like an equal trade-off. You educate me so I can get a job in the future. Cool. If you, It has shown statistically that the graduates from this program do not do too well. That may be a key indicator that that's not the right program for you or that program it's not going to get you where you need to go. I know it's a lot to think about in college, especially at 18 years old. If you are able to see the statistics of what does this program do, how many people go and what jobs, what's the out job outlook for that major, that job, that school, that those are key indicators as well. And they can tell you if that's what you're looking for or not. Also, when looking for schools, you need to look at the population that they're meant to serve and their purpose statement and mission statement as a school. For example, if you go to a PWI or HBCU, those are two different atmospheres, two different missions, two different goals of that college. If those do not fit you, either or, you have to see what works best for you as well. Like that plays a huge factor in diversity and inclusion of programs they provide outside of the classroom like student organizations. That is a key factor and not many students think about that and they give it to a school and it's like, hmm, it's sophomore year and you're looking like you don't belong here. Check those things out when you're applying, touring, looking at schools to see if that best fits you. Also, how does your school deal with discriminatory policies? How does your school handle um, things that may not reflect the college so well how they deal with certain situations is a huge indicator as well if you should go to that school or not last but not least i just wanted to touch base on what you want your experience to be like because if you go to a smaller school and it's not as much going on there and that's not what you wanted out of your career in college experience then you may want to go to a different school or if you find yourself at a party school and everybody is going crazy running amok around you and you're a quiet reserved person that school may not be a fit for you so on top of looking at the statistics numbers wise gpa wise all that stuff also pray about your decision because no matter where you end up god will be with you so I encourage you guys to figure out where your spiritual gifts are and what major you want to pick, um, which will in turn decide what school you go to or not. Uh, before I end out and close out today's video, I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit about my story. I go to a Christian college um, because, first of all, I just wanted to grow in my relationship with the Lord on top of um going to a smaller school because that's where i learned best this is just my example um this is where i learned best and my professors my advisors everybody knows my name like it's hard to walk on campus and somebody not say hi to you but i literally love that and as well as my school has chapels all that stuff so i personally chose my school because i know that's where the lord was calling me as well as I'm an education major and I will be certified pre-K through fourth in a public school and then pre-K through eighth in a Christian school. So it opens up my options very much. 
when I was looking into the school, I had to do that research, come on visits, tours, all that to make sure that this was the right fit for me. On top of that, I'm not only taking electives, Bible classes, education classes, but growing spiritually as well. And that's what I wanted. And even when I'm having a rough semester, or I don't feel like I'm going, don't want to go to class. My professors are reaching out to me. Hey, Tania, how are you doing? And they care about me. Of course, personally, I can literally go in our office at any time. And I very much appreciate that. But I realized that I probably would not have got that at any other school, as well as I get to play basketball. So that was a huge opportunity um, for me. And God just worked out in my favor in, in prayer. Um, that doesn't mean this is the perfect school. Like every school has their ups and downs. But spiritually, I've grown now into my senior year and academically spiritually like literally emotionally in every way possible i could see how i've changed my freshman i had to figure out put the work in do my research and what school best fit for me and to be honest i only started basically then in my junior year looking at colleges um and actually doing research so i encourage you guys to start earlier learn from my mistakes and just lean into where god is calling you to go to school and the opportunities that are out there as well because yes you may have counselors in your high school but they may not know what is best for you so ultimately you have to make your decision and your parents can pressure you all day long with what school to go to what school not to go to but it is your educational career and your journey in life so i just want you all to remember that but congrats on graduating high school or whatever you're doing in life um thank you so much for clicking on this video that is all that i have for you guys today if you like this video and want more content like this please subscribe down below and click the thumbs up button i would very much appreciate it and i'll see you guys in the next video bye <laughs>